Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about sharpening eyes and smoothing skin. And we're gonna use Samurai Sharpen to sharpen the eyes and hair. And we're gonna use Beauty Box to smooth out the skin. All of this is pretty common stuff if you're doing beauty work. And we think we have a couple great tools for helping you out doing that. So let's take a look at it. So here's what we've got. We've got the original without any digital makeup, without any sharpening. And if we zoom in a little bit, we can see her eyes are a little bit soft. And we like a little bit more sharpness in the eyebrows and the hair. And you can see that with Samurai and Beauty Box applied, we've accomplished that. So let's go ahead and break down how we did that. So I'm going to start from scratch. You can see that I've already got Beauty Box and Samurai applied. So we're going to delete these. And the first step is to apply Samurai. You want to do the sharpening first and then do the skin smoothing after that. Because what's going to happen with the sharpening is you're going to get a little bit of the skin texture being sharpened. You really don't want that. And so Beauty Box is going to help us kind of smooth that out. So the first thing I've done is, of course, applied Samurai. And if we zoom in on this, we can take a look at what's going on here. You can see that, turn this on and off. And we've got a little bit of sharpening happen. Uh, we can probably crank this up just a bit. 50. And maybe dial down the edge mask just a bit to two. And that's really gonna bring out the sharpening around that. Actually, now we can probably dial down the amount. Um, but the problem is that we've now sharpened the skin texture pretty severely. So if we turn this on and off, you can see that the eyes are nice and sharp, but so also is the skin texture. And while we can fix that in Beauty Box, it's better to give Beauty Box a little bit less sharpened skin to work with. And so we're gonna use the highlight mask to actually mask off the skin areas. And this is a pretty interesting use of the highlight mask. Not completely what it's designed to do, but it's actually very effective. Um, the edge mask helps with this. You can see where the sharpened edges are. But if we have this back up to 10, where we're not getting as much skin detail, we're really losing a lot of the edges in other parts. And so we're gonna set this to two, get this back, but you can see it's sharpening the skin here. If I zoom in, you can See all these little white dots, which indicates sharpening happening. And then we're gonna turn on the highlight mask, turn on show mask, and we're gonna start playing with this. So let's adjust the midpoint down to around 30. And we'll pull back the white level a little bit. Let's set that to around 90-ish. And what this is gonna do is mask off these areas and prevent sharpening from happening there. So now if we turn off show mask and we zoom back in, you can see the difference that having that highlight mask is gonna make. It's much more sharpened now than it is without it. If we turn it off, there's still a little bit of sharpening happening. It's not quite as smooth as it was. but it makes a big difference. And that difference is gonna matter when we get to the Beauty Box Pass, and it's gonna make it easier for Beauty Box to create realistic digital makeup. And so now you can see that the skin is pretty much not sharpened, and the eyes and the hair are keeping their original sharpness. So this is one way of using the highlight mask, just to select skin. If you have a very well-lit face, this works great. Uh, if not, then you might want to have the edge mask strength a little bit higher and you're not going to get quite as much sharpening in the eyes. But if you got a pretty well lit face like we have here, this is a very effective strategy for dealing with sharpening skin. 
All right, so now that we've done that, we can come down here and add Beauty Box. And of course, the first step, as always, is to analyze frame. That's going to let Beauty Box figure out what the skin tones are and automatically apply some amount of smoothing. Uh, you can probably see that that is way too much smoothing. So we're going to dial this back. We'll set this to about 10 smoothing amount and the detail amount. And we'll increase the contrast to 100. And that's going to give us a pretty good look. We can turn this on and off. See the before and the after. And we can zoom in on this to see it a little bit better. So you can still see the skin texture coming through, but it really just looks like she's got a layer of foundation on, a bit of concealer on top of it. And we can even come down here to shine removal, increase that to 100. And that will take a little bit of the edge off of the shiny areas and make her look much better. So now if we look at this without any effects at all, you can see this is my original. A little softness in the eyes, in the hair. Some highlight areas down here that we'd like to get rid of. And with the effects on, it's looking much better. She's got a really nice digital makeup job. Turn this on and off. And you can see the eyelashes and the eyebrows really jump out. And the skin looks beautiful. So that's all there is to it. Obviously there's other tutorials on our website that go over these parameters in detail. If you wanna know what shine removal does and exactly how Beauty Box works, exactly how the masking works, we have other tutorials that go over that stuff in detail. But just wanted to do a short tutorial on doing beauty work and sharpening eyes and smoothing out skin all on the same person. And showing how these two filters can be used together to do beauty work. So thanks for joining me. As mentioned, we've got other tutorials, demo filters of our other plugins. We have free plugins all on digitalanarchy.com, so please come on by the site and check all that stuff out. And again, thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next tutorial.